Matt saw that the cemetery would not be used, so he transferred it to his brother's name, settling grandma down. Mark was going to take Matt on a search for rhubarb, but Matt said there was no need to look. In fact, the first address they looked for an adopter. Matt had seen rhubarb outside. That day, rhubarb was having a great time with the other dogs. Matt thought, maybe that's where rhubarb really belongs. The reason he hadn't told Mark earlier was to spend more time with his family. Matt had one last day before he had to go back to his cell. The two brothers went to the beach and had a great time. It was a day. It was like being a kid again when they had no worries. No worries. But since their parents died, it seemed like they could never go back to that time. On the day they returned to their cell, Matt left his three legs behind, hoping that the three legs would spend more time with his grandmother for Matt. Then his brother took Matt to the door of the prison. Before he went in, Matt asked his brother, would he still be with him when he got out? But the brother said that the dog would always be with him. Matt finally understood. He had always loved him. Not only was he a brother and a father, he even pretended to be a dog to make him happy. For Mark to send him to prison before. Mark just wanted him to be a good person. At the end of the story, Matt goes back to prison. This time, his choice. And he's about to become a real adult.